welcome back. Um, I did my first Instagram poll and asked what you guys wanted to see next. I guess because I was kind of running out of videos and surprisingly most of you asked for like a campus tour or a dorm room tour and I only filmed through my dorm room a couple of seconds because uh, it's, it's never very clean. And I thought, oh, I might clean it for the video, but also this went into keeping it authentic. And yeah, I like my dorm. Most people actually move out of the dorms after the first year or the second year at the latest. I'm my third year now and I'm still in the dorms because I just love being this close. Here's Amundsen. It's also part of the dorms. I live in Schoenard Hall, but those down here are single rooms and Kitchens are just super nice, but the rooms are a bit smaller than Schumannard and a little bit more expensive. This is Tatum. Tatum is one of my favorite places. I always get there to get my hot chocolate. The Catholic Killers is called Steve's Cafe. Um, I go there quite frequently because I don't really have the option to cook in the dorms. Um, and the food in the cafe is actually quite good. They always have fruit, they always have salads, which is nice. My favorite meal of the day is the breakfast. That's almost always good. In general, I love the people that work. They're always friendly, they're always nice. Uh, the bathrooms at Cal Arts uh, are pretty clean and pretty decent as well. This one is the closest one to the lab, so that's the one we animators use. These are the cubes. Here's John Mahoney sculpting alone. I love being in the cubes. We don't work there as often as you more anymore as we used to because we don't use the light tables anymore for, because everyone's working digitally and not on paper animation anymore. But it's still a good place to hang out and stuff. Welcome to the lodge. Oh. We need a first year character on our resources. <laughs> but mostly because it's so dark and messy in here, it's mostly used for storage space. Like mine. <laughs> Peep at the baby diaper changer station that Amazon sent me by an accident. So I don't know where to put it. But I do believe that this is somewhat of a valuable item. So I'm hoping to resell it one day for a profit. Character animation program has three labs to work in, three computer labs, which is A108 and A109, which are both also used by the experimental animators. And then there is A221, which is kind of the social lab, um, and our version of A113 now. Um, that's where I spend most of my days, and I love working in A221. Okay, <laughs> this is the palace. This is where we have most of our classes. This is, yeah. <laughs> you'll also have life drawing in here. <laughs> and you'll also have basically all the theoretical classes in here. I always, I had story class in here. I had story class in here the second year, character design, all that stuff. It's really nice. Also the Friday night talks. Every Friday we have like um, celebrities out of the animation industry come here and talk about their work. Here's the horses for life drawing. And here's the boy. Okay, <laughs> the animation hallway shot. Here we go. Life drawings of the first years, life drawings of the second years. Ooh. Leo class. Hello. Hello. So now. Ah, Maya. Hi. Ah, uh, well, just walking around. We'll be in the labs in a second. Ooh. Portrait class. Here's my <laughs> painting class. Sal Mahoney's illustration class. 
And this is where they show all the student films that made it into the video show. And they're like, okay, they yeah. cool. And amazing, thank you. <laughs> Here's another live drawing. This is where I would have portrait. Um, I'm gonna have portrait here tomorrow, actually. And you have other classes in here too, like film workshop and stuff like that. Erin, <laughs> who also has a YouTube channel, by the way, and does experimental character animated vlogs um, to show us around in the experimental facilities. Um, <clears throat> so these are the cubes of all my experimental animators. They are much smaller. The space is much smaller than the ones that we have, but it's in a way cozier. They have a nice floor, nice fairy lights. Um, and we got to see the down shooters of the experimental animators. They're really, really new. Oh. <laughs> I always <laughs> New workstation Aaron got um, for the experimental first years. Uh, they have adjustable tables, which is really cool. Wait, but is it actually from Kellars? It is from his rooms at least. Oh, oh no! <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> That's actually... on camera. See the stop motion studio um, of the school, which was really cool. This is where they build all their sets and all their puppets. The mask? Oh, is it for working? What? The masks? Yeah, so like if I'm um, dreaming. Oh, okay. Like, Oh. Um, the dust is toxic. Oh, really? So, yeah. And you, the, oh, you sit there with a gas mask? That's so cool. This is the room where I would actually record the stop motion animation. And they do really cool stuff there. It's really cool that we have something like that on campus. Computer lab for the experimental animators. That's specifically for experimental animation. Um, they have really cool stuff here. This is where they show the where they have the VR class. Though so those are all VR cameras, which is nice. <laughs> and I got to walk around in the music school. I don't know too much about the other programs, but at least I got to walk around and see the practice rooms. Where I didn't film them, but you can see like all the music students sitting in these tiny booths and practicing their instruments, which is super cool. And this is the hallway where all the actors have their classes. It says Kawaii. It says One of my favorite spots on campus is the CalArts Library. They have a tiny section there specifically for animation books. So there's all these beautiful art of books that everyone loves. And they have a bunch of other cool resources. Like, I was basically able to find every book in this library. And it's a really cozy space to hang out, especially that day because it was raining. I also love the Kalaritz Film Library. This is where people go and rent films, watch them with headphones in the dark uh, and huge leather chairs. It's really cozy. 
This is the main gallery of CalArts. This is where a lot of people present the work um, on gallery night, on Thursday nights, and also this is where the open show takes place where all the films are screened and the portfolio day. And this is the sub level. People draw and paint fun stuff on the walls here. There's actually this uh, Alex Hirsch Gravity Falls Easter egg here. He apparently wrote down this hint. I have no idea what it means. That's like a fun little Easter egg. I think this wraps up the Collard School building. Um, now here you can see the Wild Beast where there's a bunch of cool performances and the famous blue wall where everyone takes their photos. So the rain stopped and now I'm going to one of my favorite places on campus which is named the end of the world and there's something special happening right now. First of all my shoes are completely wet because I walked out here for you guys to film the end of the world and oh man now it's disappearing but there's a, a rainbow. So you can see it there's a rainbow there. <laughs> wraps up the campus tour for this episode. I'm sorry I was only focused on mostly character animation, experimental animation because that's kind of all I know. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you found it helpful and stuff. Let me know if you have any other ideas or any more questions about other programs. I'll try to find out stuff. Thanks for watching and see you next week.